So keto ice cream is what we're making on the channel today. We're actually making keto chocolate ice cream. And today's recipe is actually the first recipe in a series of mason jar keto ice cream recipes that'll be coming out with all summer long. I've got a ton of different flavors planned for you guys, but I thought it'll only be right since I love chocolate so much to do chocolate keto ice cream as the first recipe in the series. With that being said, let's jump right into the recipe, make some ice cream. All right, so the first thing we'll wanna do is take out our food scale so that we can properly measure out the ingredients. And then we'll also wanna get out a mason jar. And I recommend using a 24 ounce or 700 milliliter wide mouth mason jar to make this keto ice cream in. So once we've got that out, we're gonna add that to the scale. And then since we are making keto chocolate ice cream, we're gonna need some unsweetened cocoa powder. This is gonna add a bunch of chocolate flavor to our keto ice cream without adding a bunch of carbs. So for today's recipe, we'll be adding a heaping tablespoon or seven grams of that stuff to our mason jar. Now we're gonna add some sweetness to our keto ice cream. And of course, we're gonna do that without adding any carbs or any calories for that matter by using some confectioner's swerve. With that being said, I think using two tablespoons or 24 grams of that stuff adds the perfect amount of sweetness to this mason jar chocolate ice cream. So that's what I'm adding to the jar. Now we're all set to add the base of today's low carb ice cream recipe, which is heavy whipping cream. And we'll wanna add one cup or 235 milliliters of it to our mason jar. We're also gonna add some pure vanilla extract. And the reason for this is because the alcohol in the extract will actually help keep our keto chocolate ice cream super creamy. So once we add a teaspoon of that into our mason jar, we're all set to pop the lid onto the jar and shake everything in there for several minutes, probably around three to five minutes. It is kind of a workout, but once the whipping cream does thicken up and pretty much doubles in size, that's when you wanna add it to your freezer. You wanna freeze the mason jar keto ice cream for around four to five hours. And actually, I recommend checking in on it and giving it a good shake every hour for the first two hours that it's freezing. Now, what I will say is that the keto ice cream is best the day that you make it. I mean, check this out. This is four or five hours later and it's creamy, it's thick, and it's absolutely delicious. However, if you guys are planning on freezing this ice cream for more than a day, I highly recommend replacing some of the confectioner swerve with xylitol. Xylitol is another low carb sweetener. And the reason I recommend this is because it'll help keep the ice cream creamier once it freezes all the way solid. However, regardless of if you take my advice on that or not, if you do freeze this for more than a day and it becomes totally frozen, you're gonna wanna take your mason jar keto ice cream out and let it set at room temperature for at least a little bit just to help let it defrost because it will freeze more than a normal ice cream will and this will just help return some of the creaminess to the ice cream. With that being said, as always, if you want more information about today's keto chocolate ice cream recipe, check the video description below and I'll see you in the next one.